Welcome back. So hopefully you had a little chance to think about how to make an italic L. So you have to think about what is an ital italicizing do? It kind of tilts or shifts all of your letter letters over when you apply the italics function. So another way to think about it is an italic L is formed by performing what's called a shear operation. Now a shear operation uses a particular matrix. Okay, so a shear operation uses the matrix of the form 1, K, 0, 1, where K is, uh, the size of K, it controls the, the shear. Where the K controls the size of the shear. So we're going to make this a little bit more precise using our example. Uh, before we go any further, uh, I am having some construction done in the backyard, so if you hear some saws and hammering and stuff, I apologize uh, uh, for the extra noise for today. Okay, let's suppose that our K is 0 0.25. What we want to do is describe the letter L after we shear it. Okay, so what we need is we need our new coordinates of the L at the end. Okay, and so what we're doing here in essence, is we're taking the matrix 1, 0 0.25, 0, 1, and we're multiplying it by our matrix D, which is, oh, let's, didn't mean to do that, go back, which is this matrix right over here. Okay, so I'll just repeat that matrix, go over here and write in all the entries. So I would have 0, 1, 1, 0 0.25, 0 0.25, 0, 0. And then we have 0, 0, 0.25, 0, 0.25. Sorry about that, that's a bit of a mess. Let's fix that up. We have 0 0.25, 0 0.25, 2, 2, and 0. And you can figure that all out by hand if you wanted. And you would get 0, 1, 1.0625. 0 0.3125, 0 0.75, and 0. And down here you would get 0, 0, 0 0.25, 0 0.25, 0 0.2. Uh, and let's see, I get a 0 0.2 here and a 0. Okay, so these would be the new coordinates, and then you could go to MATLAB and ask it to plot it. And in fact, I already have all the code written here, so let's go over here, and first I'll cut it into the document so you can see what I have done here, and then we'll, uh, we'll do uh, an ex experiment on Octave so you can actually see it. So let's go here, and we want to, oh, did I not, I forgot to copy copy and we'll go over here and we'll paste so there's the code this matrix here s is the scaling mate or the shearing matrix d is now the matrix um, a b so a b are these ones that were over here uh, uh, right here and so i'm making a new matrix s times d and then i'm asking it to plot uh, the first row of the matrix compared to the second row Okay, so let's get my hand back and let's see if I can add some comments here. So down, oops, need my writing tool back. Let's get my writing tool back. And what's happening down here is we're plot, uh, T1 uh, semicolon one. Uh, oops, that should be, I did that wrong. Let me fix that. T1 semicolon, that's the first row. And T2 comma colon is the second row. Okay, so that's the commands. And then, you know, let's go see over to uh, Octave about plotting it. So hopefully all this information is still preserved. Uh, there we go we have now created an italic L. So there was our first L, and now we've created our italic L. Okay, so there, not bad so far. Okay, we can now 
create an italic L. Okay. But let's say, let's go back to our picture here. And, you know, maybe you're a bit of a perfectionist and you uh, like to tinker around with making fonts and you're not particularly happy with this italic L. You, you've definitely shifted things over, made it a sheer, but you're thinking that this L looks a little strange. It looks a little too wide and you want to tighten it up. Okay, so let's go back here and we just say, oh, my, my L looks a little too wide. Uh, well, we can fix that by rescaling it. Okay, so we can rescale. Rescale it by uh, shrinking all the X coordinates. Okay. Okay. So how how should one kind of control the shrinking of the x coordinates? Well, there's actually a, a a way to do this using a matrix operation as well. We can take a matrix right here, 0 0.8, 0, 0, 1. and we want to think about what this matrix here would do to an x coordinate and a y coordinate. Well, the one down here is not going to change a y coordinate. But the 0 0.8 is going to multiply an x coordinate by 0 0.8. So we're reducing everything to 80% of its original value. So you take the matrix that we just found of the shear matrix. So that was 0, 1, 1.0625, 0 0.3125, 0 0.75, uh, 0 0.50. And then we have 0, 0, 0, 0.25, 0 0.25, 2, 2, and 0. And we, we crank this out. And we're not changing the bottom row. And we're just changing the top row. So we would have 0, 0 0.8, 0 0.85, 0 0.25, 0 0.6. 0.4 and 0, and then we have 0, 0, 0.25, 0 0.25, 2, 2, and 0. Okay, so that would be the new coordinates of our italic L, but we've kind of uh, made it a little less wide. Okay, so I've, I've figured out all the, the code here, so I'll cut and paste the code into the document. So here we go. There we go. There's the code. So the R is going to the rescaling factor. Q is R times S times D. So first we had our original matrix D, then we multiplied it by the shear, and then we're multiplying it by the R, and then we're plotting the resulting coordinates, just as we were doing before. So let's go over to Octave and ask it uh, to do that. And there we go. There is our new L. And aesthetically, you you can decide which L looks better, which italic L. And personally, I think the second italic L looks a little, little nicer. So that's the, that's one, some of the operations here that we can do using kind of uh, matrix operations. Okay, let's see if I. So what we want to notice, and what we're going to talk about in the next part. Let's go back up to the top here is that I just want to make a remark is that with matrix operations with matrix operations you can perform a whole bunch of operations so you can perform shears things that are called flips and rotations Okay, and we've actually kind of talked about rotations before when we talked about the graphical meaning of linear transformations. So if you want to kind of see a nice list of everything that you can do, you can see section 1.9. And what I want to encourage you to do is also, you know, take some of this code and, you know, tinker with it, try different things. 